Barnacles to Gup I, the Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashy, take the Gup S under now. Captain, Emperor penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashy. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does oh. it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. <laughs> She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? But I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. <laughs> What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. Never a dull moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Leo? They so? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing. The Octopod's about to flood! Huh? Just hop on. Sorry, big fella. We sort of kind of sucked you into the octopod. But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. <laughs> Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. 
Oh no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain. Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the tickles! <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. There! No! Over there! <gasps> the coconut! It's gone! Tweak! Spotlight! Nothing! Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. But there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking! You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak! Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh, looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, sure. It's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Oh! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us!
Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! Ho -ho! Here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Shiver my whiskers! Peso's bag! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. <laughs> Finding us in the dark! We're trapped! Huh? Huh. We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me? Hand what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? Alright then. Get ready to feel the steam. Stop! Look! <laughs> Our baby! Who's got your bill? And your tail. A baby duck-faced monster. It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... Oh! As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> Can't eat the cup eggs. He's getting tired, and if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yeah! Oh, you shark! Can you not see him trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. But I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip. I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the bin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark bin wrap. 
hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh no, you're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever! Hop on, matey! <laughs> a cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy! That's an all you can eat party! Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. stuck to this rock like, well, clams stuck to a rock. Don't worry, if you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Whoa! Another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. 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 Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish, but you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just me tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, I mean problem. <laughs> Tentacle, it hurts. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There, good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shillington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shillington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Peso. Shillington. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Belugas don't like strange loud sounds. Check, check, check. They're the shyest whales around. Check, check. Beluga whales swim in icy seas. But they still need air to breathe. As belugas swim along. Check, check, check. They like to chirp and sing and make beluga songs. Fast break. Our mission. Octonauts at ease until the next adventure. I think I have just a thing, Cap. Oh. 
Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas? This path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack, courtesy of tuning. Belugas, follow me! It's fish biscuit feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Now shit, whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away! Go on! Go! Go! Leave it alone! Belugas, follow me! It's dinner time! Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Thank you.